Welcome back to Syria 2010 and I'm with uh, Dave Pedigo here. We're going to talk about the future. David, tell us about the future. I want to know the lottery numbers for Saturday, please. Okay, well, I don't know if I can predict that, but seven will be one of them. Uh, well, I, I just want to say welcome to Cedia, and this is the Future Technology Pavilion, and we've broken it up into four areas. The first area that you see here is the future of home health, which we feel at Cedia has an enormous potential as the aging population continues to grow and uh, disproportionately to the number of doctors. This is an absolutely fantastic solution by being able to measure your blood uh, pressure and your weight and your glucose levels and there's all sorts of fall detection and those kind of things so not only can we see how the person is doing at one certain point in time we can see how they're doing over an extended period of time that information gets sent to whomever you like typically your primary care physician as well as uh, your loved ones so then as an, as an example here's a scale right here so you step on the scale it measures your weight over, if you, let's say you gain more than five pounds in three days, your primary care physician's gonna get an email and say, hey, this person's weight has, has gone up this much. And the doctor could say, oh, well, that's a potential for congestive heart failure. They'll call the person, schedule a time to come in and get an appointment. Uh, or you could go to a doctor and your glucose levels, they've been able to see you've got diabetes, they'll see how your blood sugar has been uh, for the entire month. So we, we feel it's absolutely terrific. Um, a growing potential. This this is the kind of technology as as it progresses that's going to help people, elderly people, because they don't have to go into nursing homes and and social care homes. They can actually stay at home and have technology look after them. Absolutely. In fact, I mean that's a great uh, point because not only is this regarding the wellness of the person, but also the cognition. So there are certain computers here that help uh, keep your brain sharp as well. Uh, there are things that look for patterns of depression if someone, an elderly person is getting depression. And then we've also got uh, fall sensors. So if, if somebody gets out of bed, there's a pressure mat over there. You get out of bed, the lights dim just a little bit so that you're, you're more likely to not trip over something. Um, so the full range to be able to keep somebody as long as they can in the home instead of going to uh, some kind of uh, care facility. So, I mean, this is the big thing about, about the Cedia shows here. It's not just about entertainment. It's not just about 3D and home cinema and, and that kind of thing. We, we're looking at technology integrating it into our lives, basically. Well, yeah, I mean, entertainment's certainly a part of it, but that it's way beyond it. I mean, look, here's the best example I can give is that when we automate a house these days, you know, most automators, what they do is if there's a fire in the house, they automate the HVAC unit, the, the air conditioner, to shut off so that now the smoke stops blowing through the house. A lot of uh, people who die, die not because of the fire, but they die because of the smoke. So a fire alarm is triggered, AC shuts off, uh, all the lights turn out except for the pathway lighting to show you how to get out of the house. Or if somebody breaks into the home, the lights start flashing. Or um, if uh, you've fallen, and, you know, then an email goes out. Uh, or if, as an example here, uh, you go to bed, it weighs that you've, you've uh, laid down. If you don't get up after, let's say, 10, 12 hours, then an email alert is sent out to say, hey, check on this person. So it is far beyond entertainment, I would definitely say. Now, talking about entertainment, you've also got, um, well, it's the first time it's been done, I suppose, a 9.1 system with 3D? Yes, it's 9.1 surround with 3D. D-box motion chairs and trim off room correction. I mean, it really is a fully immersive uh, experience. Plus, we also are showing uh, the Tron Legacy clip, which I don't think has ever been seen, particularly with motion and 9.1 surround. Now, by Cedia doing that and showing us five, seven years in the future, you're kind of saying that you think 3D is going, going to last, it's going to be a technology that it's going to work? I, I definitely think 3D is going to last the, because if you look at the uh, amount of uh, money that the studios are putting into it, the manufacturers are putting into it, absolutely. You should see the look on the faces of people who come out of here and that's not just me saying it. I mean, uh, a friend of mine came out here from California, he spoke on a panel and so he went through the demo and I'm watching him with his mouth literally wide open. but. 
it, it really is. The end game is ultimately you'll have a 3D experience without glasses or auto stereoscopic 3D. But that's still a ways out. But yes, I think the, the true 3D experience, full immersion, is here to stay. Well, thanks, thanks again, Dave. And uh, join us again for more coverage from Syria 2010 very soon.